Hey, what's up guys? Mike Locke here. Thanks for checking out this video. So, in this video, I'm going to be discussing what I call the perfect landing page. Here I am at a site called carwoo.com and I'm going, to, I'm going to be using their site as an example. Uh, I recently came across an article from uh, the guys at carwoo.com and uh, they were talking about how they increased conversions by 25% with this new design of their landing page and uh, here we are looking at the landing page and you know you hear about these things all the time you know some websites increasing conversion rates by 25 percent which is cool I was really impressed with the overall layout and some of the elements and components on this page when I first saw it and uh, just you know having experience building landing pages and working in the car auto industry in the past and doing similar landing pages like this to drive leads um, you know, I was really impressed with the site, and I look at this and I go, "Wow, I, this is what I would expect the perfect landing page to look like." And so, what I'm going to do is basically, I thought, you know, let me shoot a video about this and blog about this and uh, review some of the components and areas on the site, and maybe this will give you tips for when you start working on your own projects or working on client projects, and uh, to improve uh, the conversions on their sites. I'm going to call out some little components on here on how I think and why I think this is uh, benefiting this company Carwood. All right. So aside from the overall design, clean look and feel, here are some of the components that I think are really, um, you know, really uh, helping out the, the conversions on this particular site. First off, let's start off with a nice, clean, concise header. You know, when dealers compete, you win. Obviously, um, it's not that crazy, you know, not that special, but it's a nice, short, concise header. Um, so when a user lands here, you know, they can read it. It's clear, it's concise, it's to the point, and it's informative. Um, also, keep in mind, when you're doing, like, let's say you're using this page as a landing page and you're running an ad to this page, you would generally match the, the message on your ad to the message here. Okay, so just keep that in mind. The other thing I like is the fact that it has a, uh, a call to action up here at the top um, and the color orange, which has been known to convert over green or convert better than green, is a nice color. So, And also, it's in a nice location, so as I click from page to page, obviously, it gives a user the option to sign up with one click. All right, so that's a great, great thing there to have. The other thing on this home page is this hero video shot here. Basically, this is what I would call the billboard area, and your eye is completely drawn to this area, and this is effective. Normally, on some landing pages, you might have this is what I would call the hero image. Okay, now over the last few years, video has become very popular, and a lot of landing pages have been, a lot of internet marketers have used, um, you know, videos in place of their hero image. And Carwood does a great job because one, they have this nice big play button on their image or their video that draws your attention, and they have a nice call to action here. See how Carwood works. Also, when you click that, the video is is very creative. You know, it's um, to the point and it's informative, and it's only a minute and forty seconds long. So you don't want your videos, your your intro videos, to be too long because uh, you know the attention spans of users are pretty short so you know and after watching this video you get away you come away with knowing exactly what Carwu does and how it works and then you're ready to sign up and that leads us to this area over here which is their sign up form I love this um, I love the location Some sometimes some people would think why not put this on the left hand side but um, actually forms have been known to convert better on the right and uh, my theory is that when a user comes to a page like this, um, their first they n users normally read left to right. So I come into here and I'll I'll look to the left. I'll see the video. I watch the video, and then I'm ready to, you know, I'm, I'm sort of informed about the product and service, and then I'm ready to take action. Okay. So now if the form is on the left hand side, it's sort of like uh, it's it's like an annoyance, you know, where. Um, you have a sales guy asking you to 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 buy something and you haven't really um, taken time to actually look around okay so that's my theory you don't want to basically have an, a form that's in your face right off the bat you want to give the user a few seconds to sort of absorb the information and uh, take it all in 
and then they're ready to sign. So that's why I think the forms on the right hand side have been um, known to convert better. So looking at the form here, nice border around the form which gives it enough contrast from the background and from different objects so it sort of draws your eye into it. Also it's very short, nice green, nice orange button and uh, also I like that because the orange buttons have been known to convert uh, better than other colors like green and blue and red. Also this little seal here, you see this a lot on a lot of landing pages. This seal is basically just, you know, it just a, a subconscious sort of uh, uh, image um, saying that, you know, your satisfaction guaranteed, so to speak, you know. So having seals like this and little badges and stuff like that on your landing pages um, goes a long way. Uh, believe me, not having this compared to having it uh, makes a big difference. And if you did an A-B test and uh, I I'm, I'm guarantee you it would show that this uh, converted better than not having it. So the uh, the next thing, if we scroll down, you have this information here, over 31 million uh, dollars in savings, you know, saved, uh, offered to carbo buyers. Basically, this is a quant what I would call quantitative, you know, uh, stats, you know, information messaging that's very uh, helpful. It's it's more helpful or more, I guess, uh, effective than just a generic we save. Our customers a lot of money. This is basically telling me an exact amount, telling me um, subconsciously telling the user that this is a real amount that these guys are actually saving their customers. Okay, so I like that messaging there. Going down to the bottom here, you have real testimonials, which is always good. Testimonials are good in general, but actually having, uh, you know, making the statement these are real and having videos to back it up. Let's click on that. So it has real videos from their customers you know talking about the product uh, which is very helpful I I love video testimonials I would I would be careful if you put video testimonials up because the the even though you have customers sort of um, saying good things about your company it could come off as sort of cheesy and uh, uh, sort of fake so the authenticity of your videos needs to be clear make sure you know you ask your customers questions or give them give some context into to what they're what they're uh, what they're saying so for example in this video uh, if this was my customer I, I would ask the customer so what did Carwoo do for you and then she would sort of you know just like a simple interview process and one of the uh, websites that I like is Basecamp if you go to basecamphq.com and check out these customer testimonials these are like on point they're very good they're very well done so I would check that out the other thing is uh, in the news this is uh, showing, you know, where you've been notified in the media, you know, like as seen on Fox News or as seen on NBC. If you have stuff like that, like uh, places that uh, you've been uh, sort of uh, represented in, in the media, it's good to show that because it also tells users that, you know, your company is uh, is noticeable. It's popular. It's uh, it's it's um, it's important, you know, things like that. So. This type of information goes a long way into building trust you know, for users. Um, so going over here on the right hand side, I love this. This is a great, great uh, thing to have. Obviously, you know, share like buttons and and some some social aspect is really good. What I like about this particular this Facebook widget is that it's integrated into the design of their website, and it's not seen like an afterthought where they just throw this in. So. I like the fact that they um, they took some time to really uh, work this into design of their site. And uh, what I think the aside from having the social aspect of actually drawing more users and being a good marketing tool, you know, getting people to like your your page and and, and um, sharing this with their friends, the having the the you know, a widget like this on your website gives you the cool fit factor. It tells you, you know, it tells users that, you know, you're on the cutting edge of technology. You're not, you know, an old school company. You're, 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 you're cool, you're trendy and things like that. So, um, so that's the last thing down below. Simple footer. This is not anything too special here. It's designed well, but I don't think this does anything for, um, the actual conversion. But, uh, but it's done well. So that's pretty much it. You know, header, nice hero shot, nice call to action button on top right. Very nice sign up form here 
with the little seal you know quantitative uh, stats and messaging real testimonials in the news stuff and your social aspect your social widgets all right all those little components make up what I would call the perfect landing page also the interface is really nice and clean and the visuals are done really well so that's also comes into play so hopefully you learned a little bit from this and what I would do is just kind of you know think about some of these these things that I've called out and uh, start to apply them to your own site and uh, hopefully you can uh, improve conversions on your site as well and your customer sites alright thanks for watching this video and uh, we'll talk soon